As soon as I made my Coachella breakdown video, my comment section got bombarded by this revolution that they call it. This Wake up in the morning, saw my face, I'm in the magazine. Saw the paparazzi taking pictures. I'm the top 10 artists to watch at Coachella 2019. At number 10, I have Zed. And Zed, if you don't know who Zed is, it's an EDM artist. He was at Coachella in 2012. Coachella 2016 and now he returns in Coachella 2019. He performed at Ultra Festival in 2017. That's the last footage I saw of him. If you're into EDM or you just want to have a good time and Zed is playing and you don't know any of the artists playing at the same time, I definitely recommend you guys go watch Zed. So that's going to be my number 10. Number 9 is one of the greatest bands. I don't want to I don't know if it's one of the greatest bands, but it's one of the bands that I've never heard one person in the world say that this band sucks. I first listened to Weezer with the song probably the most famous famous song is the Beverly Hills song. That's where I wanna be living. Sorry for my terrible singing. I've only got to see Weezer one time. I made it in America 2014 in Los Angeles and I've been looking forward to watching Weezer and finally they're gonna come to Coachella for the first time. Almost 10 years they haven't been to Coachella in 10 years so Weezer is a band to watch at Coachella 2019. Number 8 is Ariana Grande and I know Ariana Grande she is a huge celebrity. Over the last three years her stardom has gone through the roof. Sometimes not for the greatest reasons I mean she had that incident in Manchester where there was a bombing at her concert then she had those like relationship problems and stuff but she is an incredible artist she's been taking over the internet with the thank you next song she just dropped the seven seven rings or some shit like that it was a new song she dropped but yeah she's all over the media and she's gonna be headlining Coachella which is a huge accomplishment for her she's following Calvin Harris Kendrick Lamar and Eminem as the main Sunday headliner so she's gonna put in an amazing performance I'm not a big fan of her music but I am looking forward to seeing her because I know she's gonna deliver an amazing performance. Number seven is one of my favorite rappers working today and that is Pusha T. Pusha T's often been called your favorite rapper's favorite rapper because he's not that mainstream, like his songs aren't catchy. He doesn't have these cool viral songs that people are just doing challenges for. His songs are just lyrically amazing. Pusha T had one of the best rap albums of 2018 with Daytona. The reason why Pusha T is on my top 10 list, not only because he has great music, but because there's possibilities he's gonna bring some guest performers. And I'll talk about more about that later because there's another artist on this list that might bring some guest performers. Coming in at number six is another EDM artist and that is Dylan Francis. He is very active on social media. You've probably heard a lot of his songs. He has so many collaborations with so many major artists. And one of the reasons why Dylan Francis is a must watch is because he's either gonna be at the Sahara tent or at the main stage and he's gonna bring some guest performances. We've seen Calvin Harris bring out Rihanna. He's brought out Big Sean. We've seen Skrillex bring out ASAP Rocky. So you always have the possibility with an EDM artist like Dylan Francis to bring out some celebrities. So that's gonna be fun to watch. When the lineup first came out, there was a little mystery behind this artist at number five and that was Gucci Gang because nobody really knew who Gucci Gang was. It was kind of like a mystery. But they finally have revealed who Gucci Gang is and it's gonna be a little group consisting of Gucci Mane, Lil Pump, and Smoke Perp. Now this is gonna be interesting to watch because we don't know what they're gonna be doing. But that's three different artists performing at the same time. It could be they're trying to create their own like little Migos type thing. So, so it's really cool to see. This is the type of stuff that only happens at Coachella. These Gucci Gang reunions, these groups being created, these reunions. And that's why Coachella is just the best. There's always some something unexpected happening with the lineup or the guest appearances. So Gucci Gang number five. Coming in at number four is one of my favorite artists over the last five years, and that is YG. And YG, he has so many amazing hits, and he just brings that 90s hip-hop vibe. And right now, YG is going on tour with his latest album, and he's entirely skipped the entire LA area because of the Coachella clause. If you are playing at Coachella, you can't play anywhere in the LA area between December and May. And it's his first time coming to Coachella, so it's gonna be super exciting to see what's gonna happen. YG, somebody to watch at Coachella. Coming in at number Number three is Childish Gambino, one of the most successful artists working today. And this guy, he literally does it all. Like he started as a writer for SNL and 30 Rock. He did comedy skits. He also started in the show Community as Troy Barnes, one of my favorite shows. And then from there, he decided to get out of Community, focus on music. He wrote Because of the Internet, which was a great album. Then he decided to write his own TV show, Atlanta, which is Emmy award winning show, Atlanta. And now he's making a movie with Rihanna coming out thing later this year. I mean, this guy's done it all. And Childish Childish Gambino said this might be his last performance as Childish Gambino because we don't know if he's going to continue to make music or continue to tour, but maybe he's going to tour under another name. So hey, if this is his last performance ever, why not watch him at Coachella? So Childish Gambino, that Friday headliner, somebody to watch. As soon as I made my Coachella breakdown video, my comment section got bombarded by this revolution that they call it this. 
this movement and it's the black pink now the black pink is a, a k-pop artist i guess i've heard of bts my niece loves bts she's she went to a bts concert in los angeles and it was crazy she showed me the footage black pink is their first time performing in north america and that's a big deal because this is a huge pop band like if you go to their youtube videos like they have millions and millions of followers it's crazy like everybody loves k-pop right now all these like young kids so black pink somebody to watch at coachella i just want to see what kind of performance they're going to be doing i don't know any other songs i added some to my Coachella playlist I'll, again if you guys have more songs recommendations let me know in the comments because right now I'm over like a hundred songs in the on the recommendation just from you guys from that video so let me know in the comments and I'll continue to add them so now before we get to number one there's gonna be some honorable mentions like I want to talk about Wiz Khalifa Wiz Khalifa was amazing in 2011 he's coming out Jaden Smith he might bring out Will Smith stay out Solange might bring out Beyonce it's just something to think about you have Tucanes de Tijuana which is gonna be amazing for all the Latin crowd we're gonna be dancing J Balvin we have Bad Bunny there's a lot of great artists to watch at Coachella. These guys didn't make my top 10, but those are some other artists that I should be watching for Coachella 2019. Now let's get on to number one. Mm -hmm. The number one artist to watch at Coachella 2019 is definitely gonna be Kid Cudi. Everybody loves Kid Cudi. He had to go through rehab. He had to deal with some personal issues and it looks like he's finally free like in his album. He just had an album this summer called Kid See Ghost in a collaboration with Kanye West and Kid Cudi is just gonna be an amazing performance. He came out in Coachella 2015 or 2016 I can't remember exactly what year it was but he played at the Coachella stage and, and he was like at 7 p.m. the entire Coachella stage went crazy so Kid Cudi somebody to watch not only because he has new music also the same thing with Pusha T Kanye West might come out as a guest performer especially for Kid Cudi since they had an entire album so I wouldn't be surprised if Kanye West comes out with Kid Cudi and that's what people are gonna be expecting so stay in the lookout for Kid Cudi's performance the number one person to watch at Coachella 2019 let me know in the comments if you disagree with my list or let me know your list in the top 10 um, most anticipated artists to watch at Coachella 2019. Let me know in the comments. Then we can have a conversation. Some people hitting me up on Instagram. And I've been helping people get their tickets, helping people with their just tips and everything they need to know about Coachella. So one more thing before I take off. If you guys could do me a favor, go on iTunes and hit up the Welcome to the Wormhole podcast. That's my new podcast. You guys definitely check it out. Give it a five-star rating. Download it. Subscribe. You don't have to listen to it, but if you guys just give me that rating, I would strongly appreciate it. And if you want to listen to it, that's good too so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys at coachella